Welcome to another episode of Void City Reviews. I am Toast. I am Dan. And today we're looking at the Zur and R version of Batman. This is from Batman R.I.P. Grant Morrison. Okay. I've never known where this version comes from, so... You should really read some of the Grant Morrison stuff. I probably should. So why did you buy this figure? Because it was a McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse figure that came out in the store. And you're just going for 100%. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I got and it's it. It's a cool looking figure. It's it different is... and it kind of breaks up. There's been a thousand Batmans in this line so far and he definitely looks very different than all the rest of them. They're so. all gray and black. Yeah. Gray and black or blue and black or gray and blue and black. So it's nice to have one that's, you know, red and yellow and purple for some reason. And you're going to explain why that is maybe briefly. So like, he... is this Bruce Wayne? Yeah. Okay, just from an alternate Earth? No. No? No, he... This in... is our Bruce Wayne? Yeah. <clears throat> or this thing? In his preparedness, because you know how Batman prepares. Yes. He created a backup personality in his brain, just in case. In case what? In case anything happens to his mind. But wouldn't that also, if something happened to his mind, wouldn't that encompass... The backup personality that is in his mind? Apparently not. Does he have, like, partitioned hard drives? Basically, yeah. Okay, cool. So... Batman likes to prepare. So he went nuts and just became a different Batman? And then kind of cobbled this uh, outfit together out of trash, I believe. And then had a knife and a Lucille baseball bat? I don't think he had a knife. I think that's a McFarland thing. Okay. It's been a long, it has been a long time since I've read this story, but I thought this is honestly one of, I think, one of the best proportioned Batmans, and I really like the cape. Is it a cape? It is a cool looking cape. It's a very Todd style cape. Yeah. Of just lines. This is a pretty nice cape. But one of my problems with the McFarlane Batman figures, well, the McFarlane figures in general has been heads and proportions. And I think this is one of the better proportioned figures. It definitely looks a lot better just looking at it here, being able to see it in the monitor. Just the way the head, the cowl, everything looks the right size. It even looks like a little bit bigger, which it would because he's got a giant rubber cowl over his human-sized head already. So that's one problem I always have with the figures is that you hold up a lot of the Batman figures next to characters that aren't wearing anything on their head. And the people who have, like, a naked human head, their head is bigger than Batman's head. Yes. Whose head should be, like, gigantic compared to theirs because it should be his head plus an inch thick of, like, foam rubber and armor all around it. Yeah. He should have a humongous head on all those figures. And his head is oftentimes smaller than yeah. other people's. And that's just very strange. It doesn't make any sense. No. I know a lot of it has to do with just being, you know, try to be stylized like comic art or whatever. But at the same time, when you translate it back into 3D with human proportions, it looks strange then. So yeah. sometimes you got to fix that. So one of the things with this figure is there is a lot of sculpted detail that is probably not being shown off at this distance. Oh, no, not at all. And we're going to... There is stitching all throughout his legs and yes. torso. Not on the arms, which is a bit surprising. Yeah, that arms... is, I noticed that when I was looking at him right now. I thought that was a little bit strange. So I'm wondering if he just reused some, some bicep and shoulder pieces from someone probably... Maybe, but it is a new forearm, and I like yeah. these arms, so I might wind up painting these arms at some point. Kit bashing a new um, Batman for myself. But there's a lot of sculpted stitching in there. As I said, he cobbles together this suit. I like the boots, too. The boots are very different than all of the other Batman figures. Yeah, they are. I was mentioning earlier, they remind me kind of of a Batman year 100. Right. Uh, he sort of had uh, not as cobbled together as this, but it was definitely, he just had, you know, boots and like long underwear, 
a shirt with a bat like spray painted on the front. He had like like boxing shorts, like you know, like yeah. workout shorts over the rather than like the speedo, just like a regular utility belt like you'd buy on Amazon. Like that suit reminds me of the homemade Spider Man suit. Yes. I like both of them. I would love to see a McFarlane Toys Batman year one hundred figure. Todd, please and thank you. That would be nice. The problem I have in customizing and wanting to customize a year 100 figure is the long shorts. Yeah. Because all mean, of them have... Unless we ended up sculpting that seam at the bottom or whatever, you might just have to paint that to look that way. Which you could. I mean, they're they're tight against him. It's not like they're baggy, so you, you could, could get away with painting them. A lot of action figures might actually do it that way, but you could get around that also. So he is a cool figure. Yeah. I, I, I also got one, I think, yesterday. I did get one a couple of days ago. I started painting mine yesterday, so I'm going to show this off real quick. This is the original, obviously. And then I have been painting the stitch work. I painted the eyelets. I think that's what they're called. In the boots, I put a wash on the belt, so there's a bit of brown in there. I've continued that for the abs. And I took one of your tricks, which was sharpening a toothpick to get... I might have had a brush that was this fine, but I did just move some stuff around in the house, and I don't know where um, some of my brushes are at the moment. <laughs> so I did some there as well. And I repainted the the bat matte black, because I did have some yellow showing through. I've got a couple of paint mishaps. I've got some flesh there on his cheek, and I have a red mark over on this side on his neck. So, oops, but it should be fine because he is a yeah. pile of trash. You just said it's a suit made out of garbage, so it's all good. Oh. One thing that surprised me is these are very sharp. This is not a soft plastic. Oh, yeah, that's true. So these figures can't come with weapons anymore, but they can be weapons. That's what I've noticed. No. Anyone who's tried to move Dark Father's arms while holding those wrist gauntlets with all those spikes. Oh my goodness. Hope you had some band-aids ready. Yeah, let's talk about why he fell down. Yeah, let's talk about why he fell. So mine has the same problem. This ankle is incredibly loose. Yes. This one is better. So it's it's smooth, but it's um I don't know, there's resistance, whereas this one is just floppy. Yeah. On mine, it's the reverse. That's why I have the stand backwards. He's actually pegged in on this foot, but it's still just about as loose as that one you just showed. And this one's even more floppy. So that's why he fell down a moment ago. Oh, you have two bad ankles. Oh, they both. I think they both are. But okay. yeah, that's why he's backwards. Because otherwise, I usually try to keep it how you're supposed to put it on this foot so that the DC logo is right here. Well, his is in the back because... I've never even considered that. Oh. Uh, do you have problems with the arms at all? Uh, not that I noticed, I don't think. So on mine, I've got one arm that is soft ratcheted, which is kind of surprising because I didn't know any of the arms were really ratcheted. But this one is not. Huh. That one just moves? Yes. Let's see. Oh, there's a ratchet there. It's very soft, though. And yeah, mine are both. I should it also, but it's the same as yours, where it's a lot looser on his baseball bat arm than it is on his knife hand. Now, surprisingly, the, this arm moves a bit better, I'm going to say, so less loose after I've disassembled and put it back together, because I did huh. I pop the arms off so that I could matte finish the red. So in addition to painting the stitching, I also did put a matte finish on the red and then put some red tone on as well. So he is a little bit darker. As a side-by-side, -side, mine is a little bit darker and less shiny. Yeah, mine's way more bright and just probably not fun to photograph. Yeah, yours looks a lot better. So as soon as I finish this off, I will reassemble him. I probably won't do a video on it, but I will share this to Instagram. Just, well, I don't have before pictures because that's not how I roll. Well, there's a before picture right there. Yep. It's the same figure, and it even has most of the same defects or issues. But I do think, I think the stitching helps. I've seen a couple of people also paint the stitching, and they were probably using a brush because it came off looking very thick. 
Yeah. And I don't know that I've seen anyone paint the eyelets yet, but that really breaks out. Oh, that helps. The purple. A ton. That looks amazing. You were asking if I was going to do the shoelaces. I'm not sure. I can say have fun with that. I could do that in... You need that toothpick brush again. <laughs> in black. I don't know. I've got some time. I might. But he is... He's, he's a well-sculpted figure. He's well-proportioned, I think. Yeah. Um, I don't remember the knife accessory. The bat is... The bat is pretty well done. Yeah. Pretty good. They painted the nails. That's nice. They painted the nails. It could be a little bit better. Yeah. But they did a good job with the wrap. I'm going to say yeah. better than the death metal sickle. Oh, yeah. Where it was just all one brown. Right. So this is nice. It's a step in the right direction. Yeah. The bat is a little bit floppy. Mine was. Yeah. I mean, it's the soft stuff. Yeah, yours is okay. It's a knife. One of those floppy ones, too, like Joker's. Yep. Yeah, he's got the floppy knife like the Dark Knight Returns Joker. So. But the thing about the knife is it's not oversized. We've gotten some oversized accessories, notably bat rings. Yeah, where they're gigantic. I don't remember what else is... fit in his hand. And it's like, where would he have that on his person? Like, There was some other accessory that was completely out of proportion. Uh, Joker walking sticks are typically oh, yes. like the size of baseball bats. Yes. Like they're as thick around as this baseball bat is. Like every Joker walking stick that comes with a Joker figure. But these two are nice accessories too. It's it's a well done figure. I like yeah. it. Yeah. It's really good. Well, I guess there you go. That is uh, Batman of Zer... Zer and R. Zer and R. Okay. There you go, which I learned today is actually also Bruce Wayne, just dressed in garbage for some reason. So I didn't know that you thought he was from another universe or something. Well, I mean, what the hell else could look at him? Yeah, look at him. I mean, unless he's from like the 60s where Batman would have like rainbow costumes and stuff like. Ugh. I thankfully never read that rainbow outfit story. Ugh, I've, I've seen those. the memes. That's back when like Joker's favorite word was boner. Oof. Well, like, okay. All comics back then, just to, to mean that someone had made a mistake or mm -hmm. had failed at what they were trying to do. They were like, oh, look at that boner Joker made. And it was like, I don't want to look at Joker's boner. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Funny. Those old comics were uh, very dated. Very dated. And just... Language evolves. Yes. So it's a good figure. I do like the outfit, but I might wind up picking up another one so that I can reuse some of the arms or reuse some of the pieces, specifically the arms, because I think those are great. Yeah. Repaint those into gray and black. It's classic colors. It'll be interesting painting over that yellow. Outfit. I think the belt yeah. is great, too. Yeah, it is a good belt. It's just super bright. Just darken it up a little bit like you did. Looks a lot better. I don't know. I don't have any particular kid bashes in mind, but I might wind up picking another one. Again, if I find it on sale. Yeah, and he is showing up in Targets now, even out here where we are usually months behind everyone else in the rest of the world. And I have seen him at several different ones already. They have multiples of him, so you guys should be seeing him soon if you haven't already. Um, is he just at Target? I don't... I didn't think he was exclusive to anywhere. The unmasked one is exclusive to the McFarland store. He's unmasked to the McFarland store, and he's only if you get, like, a bundle. Yeah, so I think it's... You have to buy, like, multiple figures. It's a specific bundle. Okay, so I guess I know where I'll be getting those figures from then when they do that, huh? If they aren't already. Well, that has been it for our discussion about this figure as well as a bunch of other things. We took a look at Toast's customized version. Now that's coming along. I think it looks great. We got tons of videos that show tools to get, paints to get, and how to do all these things. So if you want to see what he was talking about with sharpened toothpicks, I actually used that in one of my most recent videos, making a Michael Keaton Batman face. So there you go. We will be back as soon as we can with more reviews, as soon as our schedules allow for it. Uh, I guess that's about all I've got to say. You got anything, Toast? Nope. Nope. Well, that was Toast. I am Dan. Like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.